if you are just joining it's sos sos is um scripture offers solution we started uh broadcasting sos for over 20 weeks now it comes out weekly and um we just concluded the special edition for those that followed it and it was just us uh, going live with audience after the first 14 uh parts of 14 episodes that we have done and now we continue with the 15 episode because the special edition was just uh, a break or let me say an interjection in our broadcast and the question before us today on uh, scripture of our solution it's like a continuation from the 14th part if you have to go back you can quickly listen to it. it's about eight minutes or so and one of the audience asked the question back then that do i have to prepare uh, for what i am planning to do um, let me look for it okay it says is it better to be fully prepared before starting out on a thing project ministry company marriage anything whatsoever or i just step out like most people will say just do what you have to do and of course i answered uh, by the spirit of god back then and uh, some of my answers raised more questions in his heart and i know i remember that i said nobody can be fully prepared for what god wants them to do they can only be prepared in enough and that brought the first question to his mind and that question is how do i then know that i am prepared enough and it is simple you know you are prepared enough when the basics that you need to learn for that level is achieved this is what i mean you have let's say you are expected to learn how to sew a cloth or you are learning to build or any project whatsoever everything you endeavor to do have basic things that you need to learn and understand and they won't teach you all that, that is the truth so they teach you uh, as much as you will need for that first level and once that is done you will be expected to be able to at least attempt to carry out one of those things in the school setting they call it syllabus once you have finished the syllabus as far as heaven and earth is concerned they believe you should be ready for whatever exams that comes as a result of the subject so how do you know you are prepared enough when you have covered the basics that uh, is required for that period or let me see when you feel confident enough to do it uh, there are textbooks that you have to read for many things for instance but when it's time to write an exam most times you don't even finish the syllabus for those that said i've completed the syllabus you know most of them are just saying it to feel like they've read in uh, more than you but most people read enough and you'll be like ah between this that i've read there is nothing that should come out that I should not be able to handle. It's the same thing. It doesn't want you to get to the exam. Just like life, you won't see things that will look difficult or different in application. But because you've covered substantial ground, that confidence is what allows you to approach the exam. So how do I know I am prepared enough? I said you will know when you've covered the basics required for that level and also when you feel confident enough that I have uh, mastered enough to try to attempt this thing. When I was answering earlier in the 14th episode, I also said that when it comes to preparation, or manifestation or what you want to do there are times and seasons attached to this you there are times when you're expected to prepare and there are seasons when what you are preparing for will manifest so he asked the question how do i know that's the second question is asking on this that how do i know the time and seasons manifestation how do i know this is my time or this is my season of manifesting after believing that i went through that season of preparation without skipping anything and this answer is simple it's either it is time for it or you have faith for it it is time and faith that tells you your seasons of manifestation now if you go to a school a kindergarten you said i'm visiting this school and maybe i get the school for your son your daughter you get there and you say let me check kindergarten one or kindergarten two and you see an eight-year-old boy or girl seated comfortably in that class squeezed into a chair that is meant for someone half or even uh five years younger than he is now you ask the first thing you ask is oh is he part of your handlers or your minder and they tell you no he's a student the first thing that comes to your mind is somebody missed something somewhere is either the parents didn't have money when they should have been in school or it didn't develop well enough mentally to be able to handle uh, 
the learning required for his age because the time allotted to his age or the time age is carrying shows that he's not supposed to be there so when we are talking about season of manifestation time will always tell you that it is not your season i remember elisha gehazi when the prophet when the syrian captain came and Naaman got his healing he offered elisha money you remember he did not take it he offered goods he did not take it but gehazi his servant went after Naaman and collected what Naaman had to offer saying that his boss said he should come and collect it and when he got back you know the story he was confronted by the prophet and the prophet made a statement that is lost on most evangelicals and even most pentecostal today because we are quick to look at the problem as what he collected but that was not the problem he told him that is it the time to collect garments and camels so it was not that the proposition of garments and camel was wrong in itself it was the timing that was not correct and the as i collected a gift that was good at the time that was wrong so time is what will help you to know this is the season this is the hour jesus didn't argue with his death because it was the season it was the hour when darkness reigns for him to be crucified and i also said faith will help you well you are not sure of time then you ask yourself do i have enough faith for it do i have enough faith to handle this thing i remember I think in Deuteronomy, the Bible told us that the Lord told Moses that you have dwelt too long on this mountain, it is time to move over. So I'm going back to concept of time because when you dwell too long on this thing, time is counting, but Moses could not move with the people because they didn't have enough faith for it. So even when we talk about time, it does not exonerate you from developing your faith. So what you should ask yourself is what I'm trying to do. Do I have faith for it? Do I have faith enough to go ahead without fearing that it will work out or it won't work out as it were? So there is the time factor, then there is the faith factor. And lastly, he asked the third question arising from still that 14th episode that I answered this question that now that I've talked about growing, preparing enough, is this how do I measure that I've grown enough by preparation to step out? In other words, how do I know that even as I'm preparing, I am growing? It is simple. You look at Jesus' life. At 12 years old, he had to test himself against the teachers of the law. He did not manifest anything after until another 18 years because even during preparation, God creates time for you to be able to measure what you are learning, to be able to know if you are even learning at all. So, how do you know you are growing? Number one, your trainer helps you because when his parents came back, even though Jesus manifested outside their supposed authority, but he told them that the authority of the Most High is higher than their own. The Bible said he went back with his parents and he was subject unto them. So your trainer will help you, your pastor, your teacher, your mentor, whatever nomenclature you call it. You must have someone in your life that measures with you if you are progressing. Because if you go by your own definition, you go by your own evaluation, you always call yourself 100-100. It is simple. I remember a story quickly that I read of a guy passing and he saw a guy, an archer, shooting arrows and he saw perfect bullseye shooting and he was really impressed and asked the guy that uh, you must have been learning to shoot the arrow as a baby that this is fantastic uh, the guy said so how do you do it he said no problem if you want to see how i hit such bulls i always put in the arrow and the red dot he says just wait and see so as the guy stood by the side uh, the bleachers and the guy fired an arrow and the arrow went straight into one of the boards there and after that it dropped his bow went over to the board took a red paint marked the point removed the arrow marked the point and put the arrow back inside it says that is how i hit the red spot every time so it is simple if you're evaluating yourself you will always you always take it easy on yourself but no trainer will take it easy on you because if you are training for sports athletics then you are the one that gets tired your trainer is never tired so that's why anyone that takes it easy on you in your season of preparation your pastor always rubbing your head is destroying your future is not really 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 helping you so your trainer will help you 
to know if you are growing and another way to know if you are growing is by the task you are assigned during preparation if your boss is traveling is he confident enough to hand over things to you even though you have not been officially made the head but when he's going he trusts you enough to handle the company handle the church handle the team handle the group then that means you are making progress but if every time they have to import a leader while you are there if the main boss has to travel, that means you are not trusted, you are not learning anything, and you need to look into it. So, it is what is expected of us that as Christians, as believers going somewhere to happen, we must not just invest time wrongly, we must invest time in preparation so that when our manifestation comes, our preparation will not be incomplete. I hope this has blessed you and uh, I encourage you to keep coming back. Thank you for listening and the Lord bless you in Jesus' precious name. See you on the next broadcast. Thank you.